God has a will for your life and it's a good one too. You know that's what he says in the Bible in the book of 3 John verse 2. God says, "Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers." Wow, that's amazing. God has a good will for our lives. You know, he wants us to prosper to have success and he wants us to have a healthy body you know healthy in your mind and healthy in your physical body as well and when you actually think about it it's kind of hard to live life without a healthy mind and a healthy body but that's not god's will for your life but you know even though god has this good will how do we experience this will well, it all starts by changing the way you think and how do you change the way you think well, the more you start to feed on God's word, the more you start to meditate on who he is, your thoughts begin to line with his thoughts. And you'll also start to see that his will becomes very real in your life. 
I love this other scripture about the will of God in Matthew 6 verse 10. This is what Jesus said. He said, Father, your kingdom come, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. And you know what? In heaven, there is only healing and prosperity. And the good news is, you know, the will of God in heaven can also be done here on earth. That's what Jesus says right here. He says, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. What a wonderful thing to know that Amen. God's will can be done here on earth yeah. as it is in heaven. That's right. And God's will is also for you to be healed, just like Shama was sharing. You know, there's a story in the Bible of Jesus healing a leper. In Matthew chapter 8, if we see in verse 2 and 3, there was a leper that came to Jesus. And I'll read from verse 2, Matthew 8, 2. It says, And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Isn't that amazing? What I love about it is in verse 2, the leper comes and he worships Jesus. And he says, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. That means he knew that Jesus had the power and the ability to cleanse him. To heal him but he was wondering if it was Jesus's will to heal him and that's why he says if you will you can make me clean and it's amazing how Jesus replies even before he says anything he just stretches forth his hand and touches him his actions itself just show what his will for the leper was and so Jesus puts forth his hand and touches him and he says I will be clean and immediately his leprosy was cleansed. So even before Jesus healed him, he, he made sure he mentioned to him, I will, or it is my will for you to be clean and to be healed. And this is not just only for the leper who came to Jesus at this time, because there's a scripture in Hebrews 13, which says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is the same, he does not change. The times may change, seasons may change, and even people will change, but Jesus will never change. He's the same throughout eternity. And if he healed people back then, it is still his will to heal you and me right now. And even in this same chapter, a few verses down from verse five, if you see, there was another man who came to Jesus. He was a centurion and he came to Jesus saying in verse six, he says, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy and grievously tormented. This centurion approached Jesus and he said, my servant is paralyzed. And before he even invites Jesus to come and heal him, the next verse, verse seven says, and Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. He didn't even have to ask Jesus to come. Jesus was so willing to heal this man's servant. Isn't that amazing? Just like we saw in the previous one, Jesus said, I will. He told a leper, I will be clean. And he told a centurion, I will come and heal him. So knowing God's will concerning healing is vitally important mm. because it will encourage us to believe in faith that yes, God wants me to be healed. Yeah, and in these stories, you know, Jesus has established his will for our lives. And you know what? You don't have to go about your entire life living in sickness and disease. Right. Because here we see right from these stories and some of these scriptures that we've read that God's will is healing and health. You know, John 10.10, 10, Jesus says, It's the thief who comes to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That is truly amazing. When you distinguish the two, the enemy is the one who brings sickness and disease. He's the destroyer. But Jesus is the life giver. That's right. all he knows to do, only to give us life. And when you know that Jesus is the author of life, you will start to live healed and whole in your body because that's his will. Amen. And knowing what God's will is will help us to pray better. 
in 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 and 15 it clearly mentions to us that when we know what God's will is we can approach God in boldness when we pray in 1 John 5 verse 14 it says and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us now I'll just stop there before I go to the next verse it says here this is the confidence or the assurance and boldness that we have in Christ that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and so we just now established that it is God's will for us to be healed so knowing that we can pray Lord I know it is your will for me to be healed and it says he hears us and in verse 15 it says if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him whatever it is that you desire or you're asking God for when you know his will you can know that he hears you and when you know that he hears you you know that you he, it is guaranteed you will receive what you have been praying for so come before the Lord in boldness when you pray another scripture in Hebrews talks about we can come before his throne boldly we don't have to be afraid and we don't have to come in doubt and question and wonder Lord is it your will for me to be healed but you can have confidence and assurance yes Lord you are willing to heal me and I receive my healing That's an amazing promise 
in Malachi 4.2, it says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. You know, think about that statement, healing in his wings. That's a promise from the Lord to you. Healing for your physical body and healing for your mind and healing for your entire being. That's the promise that God has for you. You know, many times in the Bible, we see how when Jesus walked the earth, people just wanted to touch him and they just wanted to get that healing that was flowing out of his body. Because when you think about Jesus, that's what he is. He is full of healing and health. And you know, as we've been talking about how God's will is for us to be healed and made whole, the reason God has, you know, established this will is because he loves us. The reason he heals us is because of his love. And you might say, well, I don't know much about God being a God of love. Well, today you can know that God is a God of love. That's his promise in his word. And God wants to have a relationship with you. You know, don't think that he's a God who doesn't care. Because if you read the Bible, you can see many times how God was just always wanting to reach his people and have a relationship with them. And the same is true today. God is still reaching people today with his love. And how did he show us his love? Well, the price was very heavy, you know, to show us this love. He had to send his only son, Jesus, who came to this earth and suffered and gave his life for us. And he shed his blood. And that blood is the price that was paid for us to come to the presence of the Father. And this is how you can have an amazing relationship with God. And if you want that today, you can pray this simple prayer and say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you rose again. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Fill me with your love. I want to experience the love of the Father. From this day forward, I am born again. My life is forever changed. And if you prayed that simple prayer, Jesus comes to live inside of you. And right now, I want to pray for you. You know, if you are going through any physical ailments in your body and some kind of a pain, first of all, establish this in your mind, that God's will is to heal you. But moreover, it's important that you know that you can experience this healing power. Not just, you know, God's will is healing, but God's will is that I also be healed. So Father God, right now I come before you in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that you are sending your word and healing people right now of physical ailments in their body and any kind of pain. We take authority and we bind every sickness and disease. And Lord, I pray that this becomes real to them, Lord. Your will is healing and health. And Father, I thank you that from the top of their head, whatever mental condition they might be going through, torment and any kind of you know, anxiety, it has to leave in the name of Jesus. Lord, we believe it is your will to heal even in these times that we're living in. In Jesus' name, amen. Believe that God has healed you today and God's will is that you walk in healing.